everyone, welcome to the channel, and welcome back to another episode of the Daily Do. Uh, you know, it's it's day three of su our first summer, so uh, there was an earthquake during the night. Very spooky, if you remember, there was a little shake shake. And we're just going to check weather, sunny today, clear and sunny tomorrow. I hate it. Um, <laughs> and the spirits are in good humor, so we get a little bit of extra luck. And this is a rerun of the Queen of Sauce, and if it is stir-fry, okay, it's, it's radish salad, it wasn't stir-fry, but uh, there you go. So, let's see what the dealio is with this. Mr. McCrickon, this is embarrassing, I lost my local, local, lucky purple shorts. Please bring them back to me, phenomenal. So, don't know what the earthquake was yet. I know it was something. What a stupid statement. <laughs> of course it was something. Um, I know it it does some sort of, it unlocks something, I'm pretty sure. I just can't remember what off the top of my head. So it might just take a little bit of running around to figure out. But that's okay. And let's also just water each of these and be kind of careful about noticing how they're watered yeah they'd be white or bright otherwise right that's fine planting these close together like this was probably a bad idea I should have planted them all in this line because see this is way easier to tell if they're watered or not well lessons learned for the next time we do this there we go there we go and there we go. All right. Now we'll just water the crops up here. I'm actually quite happy with how little energy this is consuming. You know, it's a very, very solid, very, very solid um, freedom I've got here to water as much as I like. I don't think we're gonna go to the mines today. I think what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna stay, although, ah, uh, do I wander around to try and figure out what that was? And also, the delivery of Elliot. Hmm. Hmm. Make me 150 bucks. I don't know. I kinda wanted to just cut down trees and plant perhaps some of those summer seeds and clean some other stuff up because, you know, the place isn't a mess, but there are some things that I would like to tidy up a bit here just so that I can, you know, have a have better facilities, you know? And perhaps place some chests along here. Let's see, look at the shadow. Because I'd like to be able to make it all the way to the other side here without any hassle. I'd like to cut down all of these trees up here. That would make my day a little bit better. Clear out some of this, uh, some of this stone too. That would be nice. I'm gonna cut down one more tree, because again, also with that, cutting down the trees upgrades the level of forging, I don't think. Maybe it is forging. Um, but it upgrades your tree harvesting levels. <laughs> and it just makes life a little bit easier and, and reduce the amount of stamming it takes, of energy it takes to do these activities. So let's just get rid of the grass here as well. I hate cutting down those little friends. It's not really what I want to do. It's not exactly what I, what I had planned, but sometimes it do just happen like that. Let's just chop all of that up, chop this up if it lets me. There we go. And then chop that. And chop that. And a couple other little things here. Okay, so that kind of consumes all of my energy for the day in one quick go, unfortunately. However, now we can sort things. So I'm going to put chests over here. Number one... This chest will be the chest for going to the um, going to the community center. That's my plan. Maybe I'll make it red. Community center. And then I need... 
Can I put chests in here? No? Sad. Let's just do this for now. Uh, I don't even know what to do with these already. I, I, I put them down and I'm like, I don't know what to do with them. I feel like seeds and stuff can stay over here. It's kind of like this other random stuff that I that I wonder if I should take out like this stuff. This can stay in here. This stuff can can come with me. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Let me drop in Let me drop in like the bug me and then I'll put like the museum stuff that I've already done in this one. And then in the house go in the house for a minute. Let's take all of this. These two things. That, this is fine for now. Not exactly how I like doing it, but it's fine for now. For now, loosely. Let's grab the bug meat and that stuff. Let's grab, you're gonna come with me. Oh, my inventory's full, okay. I want the main resources easily accessible. I feel like having them inside is kind of a bad idea. So I'm thinking those main resources for now, it's very loose for now, will sit in this chest. And I'm talking the fiber, the stone, we'll put the copper bars in there too, the iron, that stuff. And then we'll take this. Nope, your donatables. There's the bug meat, this sort of thing. Really? Only 18? I got 25 of those. I wouldn't throw those out. Hmm. I'm gonna put the clam just in with the fish for now. Same with the algae. Um, even though I don't even know where the algae is. I know it was somewhere. You're all forgeables, right? Can I organize you? Good. Listen to that bop. It's just it's just shake, rattle, and rolling, you know? Let's grab all of those. I'll go outside. That can come with me. The geode will also go outside. I will leave the this stuff, except for that. I'll leave this stuff in here for now. I would love to keep everything in the house, but it's just, meh. Not feasible at the moment, and that's okay. I'll put all of these in here, sure. And the geodes. Once once it becomes an issue, like this becomes a problem with what all is in here, we'll, we'll take it out. I feel like selling... I'm not allowed to sell it. Never mind. Put those in there. The rice shoot, the seeds, and this summer's forgeables for now. That'll change. That should come with me. That needs to go in here. Right in this. Bonk. And then we will put the mushroom over in this red chest here because it's one of those things that's gotta go later on. And it's gotta go. Now. Okay. All right. So. That is, that is good. We're pleased with the activities. We're pleased with how we've done things thus far. We need to go find Elliot after I quickly take some of these. Can I just, yeah, let me just split it in half like that. And I'm gonna build, I'm gonna build stone paths. Fuck. Not what I wanted to build, but fine. <laughs> I wanna build some stone paths. Now I'm a little bit hesitant. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it anyway. Um, gravel path. Let's also look at a gravel path for a second. And more stone paths. I think I like the stone paths better, which is fine. But I'm curious about the gravel. What does the gravel path look like? Can I put it underneath? No. At least the gravel path changes the whole color of it. We're going to do this for now. I'm going to rip this up. Goodbye, gravel path. And this will, of course, get its own chest eventually. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's where I stop. <laughs> Before I knock myself out. Here we go. This is simply for decor purposes. It serves no actual functional purpose at this time, at least not up here. But in a general sense, what it does later on is when we have the grass, it'll the grass won't be able to spread over it, so that's that's good. Okay. So that is uh, that is our biggest achievement <laughs> thus far today. 
Let's go see Gunther. If we find Elliot along the way, somewhere, hiding, we will um, grab him and give him his sweet pea, which we should actually go back to the home and grab. <laughs> I suppose it would help if I had the thing that he asked for on my person. That would be... That would do good things for us. That would that would solve some problems. Out we go. Out we go and out we go, you know? Double it up. Double it up. Let's grab this while we're here. Also, does that give any energy? The sweet pea doesn't. The spice berry does. I'm gonna talk to uh to her real quick. The good mayor put me in charge of the public garden. Well, here you go. Oh, all right, fair enough. What's going on in here? Not in here, goodbye. You, speak with me. No, it doesn't, it upsets me greatly. I'm emotionally scarred. Oh, shit, fried eel. Oh, hello. All right. People's garbage is uh, absolutely popping off today. I've I've just been I've been sneaky snaking around for two seconds. Give me that. No trash. Nothing in your gar. Hi, man. I'm not gonna give you this. I just want to talk. The moonlight jellies will be here soon. It's one of my favorite things. Yeah, that is an event. Okay. So down here, there's no there was no event thing from the earthquake. That's kind of also, I guess, why we're running around too, just just to see. And then let's talk to these ones. I know it only does a little bit. Cool, but whatever, kid, you're fine. Is there anything down here that happened? Not that I can see yet. I've got eight energy. Okay. Uh, six energy. Five. I could, uh, I could consume the eel food that I had. Who's this? Is this Le Leah? Hello. Okay, one of the biggest things, though, is we don't want to pass out. That's, uh, that's pretty high on our, our list. Only Elliot's friends can enter. Well, you know what? Elliot, let me in your home, please. I beg. I beg. Can I... Can I plant that? In town, just like that? Is that allowed? Also, ice cream. Hello. Come back when someone's working. Son of a bitch. I just missed the time cutoff. I wasn't paying attention to the time. That's fine. Everything's fine. It's all good. Okay, so there are only a couple more places they haven't been. For this whole earthquake situation. And one of them is up here by the mine area. One of them is actually, I guess, in the mine. And then the other is between my house and and this one. So I've already seen it all. What's the point of going outside? I've already seen it all. Jeez. All right. So Oh, that's what opened up. Okay, great. That was what I, that's kind of what I thought might open up. Let's just go up here. Also, I, I guess, you know, in some ways it's good I didn't see Gunther yet. This is the spa area. And I don't have any energy to willy-nilly this out. So trains can pass through here. When a train's passing through, I can run over and, and snag some stuff. What is this? Uh, you need... Is it a star fruit that you need, perhaps? I'm trying to remember. I know it's something that you bring up to it. If only there was a little plant here that would pop up that I could snag and consume so that I could grab those little, those little friends there. Uh, right. Is there anything around this way? The bathhouse is also not particularly purposeful. Like, it, it exists as a building, but it doesn't do too, too much for us. Right? Like, I can just... Look at me! I'm a little, I'm a little fiend in my towel, and then I go in here, 
And I'm steaming. I'm steaming in the room. It's, it's a little late to be doing this. Is there anything down over this way? Apparently not. Okay. Great, great that I came. Time to, time to depart. Let's head out this way. Oh, I'm not allowed over there. Whoops. I was wondering why there were two doors. So, almost 10 o'clock. We'll run to the, hello, there we go. We'll run to the bar real quick and we'll see if Elliot's there. Stardrop Saloon. That's where we're going. That's where we're headed. Now, let's just scoot on out. Do I need to smack a rock here? Can I sneak? Oh, I can sneak around. Okay, good. Well, down to town we go. Let's see if we can find an Elliot so we can give him that, that $150 value sweet pea. If we don't, maybe we'll just sell it or something. All right, we made it. But he's not in here, so we're just going to leave right away because everybody else is leaving because it's hit 11 o'clock. And we're going to head back to the home, sell a singular piece of fiber, and then go to bed. It's weird that the earthquake happens and nobody tells you that you can now access up there. It's kind of odd that you need to figure it out yourself. But I uh, figured it out. We did. we did. We did a very good job. 10 out of 10 go us. And I'm going to sell one of those, and I don't know if I sell this down or clam, so there we go. We just kind of sell random things throughout the throughout the week. And try the bite, and the, the food is very good, so I'm just going to throw that in there. And um, yeah, off we go to bed, I guess. Also, other thing that, that I forgot about is if I hop in here and say no, my energy should go up. Does it go up? It does not. Maybe it's only co-op games. I was reading online about it because I thought, I was like, can't you sleep in a bed and get a little bit of energy throughout the day? Not in single player, allegedly. Not in single player. Hello? <laughs> okay. thought something was about to happen. So, yeah, I get nothing from the broken CD. The clam was only worth 50, and the fiber was worth 1, and the stone was worth 2. Yeah, okay, makes sense. But there you go. If you folks did enjoy this episode, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new. And don't forget to leave any comments with tips, hints, or suggestions. I always love to hear from you folks, and uh, it's always super helpful and fun as well. And just let me know what you think of the series as well. And as always, thank you for stopping by. Have you did? And for this series, I'll see you tomorrow.